Hello everybody, it's Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and we are coming to you today with a quick video um, on Ingenius's new uh, ECW260. This is a Wi-Fi 6 next generation access point and we're going to cover it now. Alright, let's get into the meat and the potatoes folks. This is uh, Ingenius's newest exterior access point. Again, it is next generation Wi-Fi 6 that offers many advances from the previous version Wi-Fi 5. Um, basically, there are three things that are important about this access point. Um, the first is something called MUMIMO, multiple units, multiple input, multiple output. Okay, that's very, very important with this guy. We also have something called targeted wait time. Um, basically, in layman's term, um, that is the communication between this access point and a client. Um, so in a campground, uh, if someone goes to bed at night and sets their phone down on their nightstand, um, the phone is hibernating. It's not communicating with the access point anymore. Um, so the access point can recognize that by MAC address. And basically it says, okay, that guy's not communicating with me anymore. I can put him in on sleep and check in less often um, and make available for other users more bandwidth. Um, that's basically what that means. The other uh, advancement with Wi-Fi 6 is something called OFDMA, okay? And that stands for Orthogonal Frequency Multiple Access, okay? And I'm an installer, that's hard to say. But basically what that means, um, Wi-Fi 5 had four lanes of travel, okay? What's called lanes of travel, they're four streams. Um, that clients can connect to. Um, Wi-Fi 6 now has eight streams. So we've doubled the capacity from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6. Um, what the OFDMA means is on each of those eight streams, we now can have multiple clients on each stream. So as you can tell, this guy is designed for stadiums, um, max capacity campgrounds, marinas, where you're going to have dozens and dozens of devices connecting to it. Okay, it has a theoretical speed um, of 9.6 gigabits, which is insane if you think about it. Because most places only get a thousand uh, Mbps or a gig from their internet service provider. So this has the ca capacity down the road to handle that much throughput, um, which is just crazy when you think about it. But really, this wasn't designed so much for speed. What Wi-Fi 6 is designed for... Um, is for multiple clients and devices to be able to connect to it uh, at any given time and to be able to handle that without crashing as previous Wi-Fi did. And we've seen, we've had huge, huge success with these access points this year and late last year compared to Wi-Fi 5. We're super excited about them. Covering the access point itself, it is made um, of metal. It's IP66 weather rated. Um, so this can be in a marina all day long, water splash on it, it does not matter. It has a waterproof plug for the CAT6 connection. Um, you put your CAT6 cable um, through here, um, secure this, um, and it will weatherproof the fitting. It has four indicator lights on the side. One is for power, one is an LAN light telling you that you've got good internet from your internet service provider, and the two other lights are the 2.4 gigahertz frequency and the 5 gigahertz frequency showing you that we have broadcast there, okay? These are five DBI omnidirectional detachable antennas. So you can actually take these off and place them somewhere um, to provide line of sight um, to a mechanism or a client that might not have it to the access point itself. Um, that's a feature we really don't use a lot, um, but it is a feature of the access point. They come with this nifty mounting bracket that can be mounted on the side of a building um, real easily with screws and then this guy just slides into place just like so okay um, so all in all a great access point um, again designed for the stadium type environment where you're gonna have multiple multiple clients connecting to it at any one time um, there's a link above right now for the next video in our series which shows you how to program this with a phone app okay you can program this cloud-based access point with a phone app. Um, you can set up bandwidth controls, um, customize a splash screen um, to welcome guests, enable NAT 
to allow the cloud to issue your clients IP addresses versus bridge mode, which would be your own router doing it, um, and set up custom SSID, broad, broad, SSID broadcasts and passwords. Um, so a lot of features you can do right from your phone app um, in less than five minutes. You can set this up in five minutes, uh, multiple access points. So um, that is our ECW 260 802.11 AX uh, Ingenious Exterior Access Point. We'll see you in a few.